Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these sweet little ballet slippers with fur pom-poms. So I'm going to be working on a child size slipper in Bernat velvet. So this is a bulky weight number five yarn and out of one of these large uh, balls you can get about four adult size slippers. So you're also going to need some fur trim if you want to make uh, your faux fur pom-pom. So this I just picked up at the dollar store, but just check in your local crafting or fabric stores to find some ribbon. This is a two and a half inch width. You'll need a utility knife for cutting the fur. We're just making a square. You'll need some embroidery thread, a needle, and I'm working with a six millimeter crochet hook. And you'll find all the notes for these supplies in the description box below. So I'm using Vapor Gray, a six, mil a six millimeter crochet hook, and I'm working on the size two, three child size slipper. We're gonna begin by chaining five. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. One, two. And in each chain across. We'll turn and chain one. We'll work one single crochet in each stitch across. And I'm just gonna clarify that I do grab my yarn um, under. If you yarn over to grab the yarn, that is fine too. Please just do whatever you feel is most comfortable. And turn, chain one. Work two single crochet in that first stitch. One, two. And if you need to review your single crochet stitch, please go watch my beginner video. This video will assume you already know how to do your basic stitches. Work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches and then work two single crochet in the last stitch and turn chain one work one single crochet in each stitch across one two three four five six We'll turn and chain one. We'll work two single crochet in the first stitch. One single crochet in each of the next four stitches. One, two, three, four, and then we're gonna work two single crochet in the final stitch. And turn your work, chain one and work one single crochet in each stitch across. And we have eight stitches. Okay, so we now have six rows. And the sixth row, we will repeat it an additional four times. So we will have a total of 10 rows. So I'm gonna work, you're just single crocheting across, no more increasing. So eight stitches, and we will make 
we will do another four rows. So I will complete those off camera and I'll meet you back when I have 10 rows completed. I repeated row six four times. So now I have a total of two, four, six, eight, ten 10 rows. I will turn and chain one and we're gonna work a single crochet to tog across the first two stitches. So go through the stitch, pull up a loop, go through the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Now we'll work one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. And we'll work a single crochet two tog across the last two stitches. So we've now reduced this row to six stitches. Chain one and turn. And now we'll work one single crochet in each stitch across. Okay, so now I just wanna show you this here's the toe this is the wider part of the foot and now we're going to work on the length and it's narrowed in for the rest of the sole and then we'll finish off with the final decrease for the heel. So now working, we'll work an additional eight rows of just six single crochet stitches across. So I will have a total of 20 rows. I'll just continue working those rows off camera and I'll meet you back when I have my eight rows completed. Okay, so I've worked up my additional eight rows, so I now have 20 rows in total. And now we're just gonna finish off uh, by decreasing the heel. So let's turn, and we'll work a single crochet two tog in the first two stitches. One single crochet in each of the next two and work one single crochet two tog across the last two stitches. So now we've reduced it to four stitches. Turn and just work one single crochet in each stitch across. So this is what it now looks like. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue single crocheting. We're gonna single crochet around the entire sole. So for the size I'm working on, for, and for each size, I tell you how many single crochet to do up the side, across the top, and down the other side. So I'm working on the two, three, so I need to single crochet 21 stitches. So adding one here, one, and then I just count as I go. Two, three, four, okay, so I'm to 21. And then I work four across the top, across that toe, one, two, three, four, and then I work 21 back down the side. And I'll meet you at the bottom. Okay, so here's my 21st stitch. And now my very starting of the row here, there's my first single crochet. So I'm gonna slip stitch into that to join. And now what we can do is flatten our sole out and have take a measure. This will just see if you're on track with similar gauge. So I'm at around the 7.25 to 7.5, which this slipper will fit about an 8, eight inch foot. If you're looking to kind of, if you want to measure your child's foot, 
it fits around eight inches. This is a little bit smaller, but we'll get some stretch, right? We want it to, it will stretch out when it's being worn. So you should be around this measurement. And I also have the gauge and for stitches and rows, the gauge is six stitches and six rows equal to two inches. So you can double check that. All of this information will be in the description box for you. And if you purchase the pattern, you'll get all of that information with sizing. So now what we'll do is chain one and we're gonna work in the back loops. Now, because this yarn's furry and it's kind of hard to see the stitch, you can check out my tutorial on working in the back loop. But let's just sort of pull the stitch apart so you can see. The, the loop closest to me is the front and the loop farthest from me is the back loop. So we're gonna work in the back loop all the way around. So count as you go, you should have, you just double check, you should have 50 stitches for our size two, three. So you're just working in the back loop only. So you're kind of just pushing your hook down the center of that stitch and pushing it through. So count as you go around to make sure you're not missing a stitch. Okay, so I've worked around 50 stitches. And now I'm just gonna slip stitch into that first single crochet to join. And now we're working onto round two of the body of our slipper. So that's now kind of transitioned. We've worked in the back loop, so we've transitioned from the sole now to the body where we're working in rounds. So for round two, we'll chain one, and we're gonna work one single crochet in each of the next 19 stitches. One, two, three. Okay, so I've worked 19, and now I'm gonna make, um, eight half double crochet two togs across the next 16 stitches. So how we do a half double crochet two tog is we'll yarn over, going through the stitch, pulling up a loop. I'm gonna go right into the next stitch. You may yarn over if you want, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna go right into the next stitch, pulling up another loop, and then I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all four. If you've yarned over twice, you'll have five. It'll just be a little bit bulkier. I'm just going with this method. The idea is, is that we're decreasing these two stitches together. Okay, so we'll do that again. So this will be our second tog. This will be our third. our fourth and that should get us about the middle our fifth our sixth seventh and our eighth. So we've done that over 16 stitches, eight togs. So we've reduced this toe by eight stitches now. And now we'll work one single crochet in each of the remaining stitches around. Okay, so I've worked across 15 single crochet stitches and I'm slip stitching to the first single crochet to join. And we now have a total for this round of 42 stitches. And as you can see, we're starting to take shape. Now for round three, we're gonna chain two. We're gonna work three half double crochet two togs across the first six stitches. So there's one, two, and 
and three. Okay, and now we're gonna work one single crochet in each of the next 13 stitches. So I will work my 13 and then I'll meet you again. And now we'll work one half double crochet to tog over the next two stitches. I'll work one half double crochet in the next stitch. Now I'll work one half double crochet to tog in the next two stitches. I'll work one half double crochet in the next stitch and one half double crochet to tog across the next two stitches. And now I'll work one single crochet in each of the next 13 stitches. Okay, so I've worked across 13 and then we should have two stitches left and we'll do a half double crochet to tog over those last two stitches. And then we'll slip stitch to the top in the top of the first half double crochet here to join. And we'll chain one for round four. Okay, so this is where we now, this next round where we really begin to decrease this opening. We want them to stay on our feet. So we want this pulled in really, really tight, but they will stretch. They may feel tight when you first put them on, but generally uh, the ones we've made, they, they do stretch out. So you want them to be tight fitting. So what we'll do is one single crochet <clears throat> in the first stitch, and then we'll do a single crochet to tog the next two stitches. Work one single crochet in the next stitch and then a single crochet to tog in the neck across the next two stitches and we just repeat this pattern all the way around and some of our sizes come out even with this pattern but for the size I'm working on we will be single crocheting two in the final two stitches but just keep working a single crochet and then a tog and I will meet you on the other side. Let me just pull back so I've done uh, my decrease here and then I just do one single crochet in each of those last two stitches. Otherwise we'll we don't want to do another decrease there. So yeah so just do a single crochet in each of the last two and then we'll slip stitch to join and you should have a total of 24 stitches and now for round five we're just going to work a single crochet stitch one single crochet in each stitch around so chain one and just work one single crochet all the way around Okay, so I've worked around 24 stitches. I'm just going to slip stitch to the first single crochet to join. And now we can fasten off. You can flip your slipper inside out and just make sure to get this end weaved and then we'll weave in this end as well. Okay, so I've weaved my ends in. So this is what our little slipper looks like. Now you're going to want to make two. I'm not going to work through another one with you on camera though. So I'm just going to hop on to making the pom-poms. And see this one's actually smaller, but as you can see, they stretch out once being worn. My daughter's already be been wearing hers. Now one thing People will ask, they think that this is maybe more slippery because it's velvet. It actually, I have hardwood floors. The velvet actually sticks a little bit better to the hardwood floor than a regular 
worsted weight acrylic yarn. So you actually find they're pretty nice. Now I'm not sure over time how they will wear, but they are a nice little cozy slipper and they don't slip. So that's good to know. So now you're gonna wanna work on making this pom-pom. I've already pre-cut a piece, but let me just show you what you wanna do. You would measure out about two and a half. If you do a little bit smaller, I think this one ended up being a bit smaller, maybe for the smaller size uh, slippers, you could go a little bit smaller than a square, but if you're wanting a perfect square, measure out your square. So let's say we want to do this here. You wanna take a utility knife, because you don't wanna cut through the fur. So what you want to do is just start scoring through the backing of this. This isn't a very great knife, it's just what I could find. If you have really sharp scissors, you can always like kind of fold them like this and score it as well. The idea is just that we're not we want to get as little of the fur cut as possible and just be really careful with the knife. And if it's not cutting that well, you can always, once you kind of get it there, just go in and get the backing and snip the backing and just try not to get the fur bits. And that works too. But this is a really inexpensive way to make pom-poms. Now I spent, I got this at a dollar discount store and it was about $4.99. And I just picked it up not knowing at the time what I was gonna use it for. But it works out perfect for making these these pom-poms and making them small um, for the slippers. So now what you want is your needle and some embroidery thread. Put it on your needle. And then when we, what you want to do is just Weave the yarn all the way around through the backing. And it really doesn't have to be fancy. It's kind of what's great about it. You're just weaving in and out. I'm not even worrying with these about it being a circle. I don't want to lose any fur. Because these palms are so small, I'm not even putting any fill in them. You can if you desire that, but as you can see, they've come out a good size and they have nothing filled in. now just pull that through. Now all you're doing is taking your tails and pulling them to close it up. Now what I'd like to do here now is knot this so that it doesn't come open and then you just want to tie that onto your slipper so you just take your needle take your ends find a spot on the slipper just to push the yarn the the yarn through 
embroidery th thread through. Just going on the other side. Take your tails and then just tie them. 